What is going on everybody? Tom here with Keto Lifestyle and welcome to the first vlog of KetoCon. As you can see, that is not Las Vegas out the window or maybe you can see the exposure might not be great to see that. But that is Austin, Texas and the Palmer Event Center is like right over there which is where KetoCon is being held. Now we just checked into our hotel. We're staying with Stay Alfred which is kind of like Airbnb and we're right next to the venue. So we got ourselves a full apartment here. So if you look, we have a nice little kitchen right there. There's Olivia right there at Burgers and Bikinis. Behind me here we have the bedroom. Pretty nice little bedroom. And then the bathroom. Actually pretty spacious place for not a ton of money. And this does give us the ability to cook our own food because of that full kitchen. That's what I didn't like about some of the other hotel rooms is that they didn't have kitchens and you know we had to eat out every meal and I can't really control my macros too well when I do that. So here is the deal guys. We are now leaving the hotel. Gosh, it got a little bit dark here. And we're heading down to San Marcos, Texas. Now I did rent a car because the Uber was gonna be like 60 bucks each direction and that kind of sucks. So I was able to rent a car and I'll show you guys what I got when I get down there, but we're talking about a 30 minute drive. It's about 4.10, 4.15 now. And we've gotta be there by five o'clock for Goody Beats Keto Meetup, which I'm super excited for. So let's get out of here. We parked kind of far away and the elevator near our room can't even get to the car. So it's gonna be a bit of a walk. I'll catch up with you all when we get to the car. Okay, we finally made it to the rental car. Now, I have mentioned to you guys in the past that it's my 25th birthday this weekend and we're down here for the expo, but the guy at the rental car company hooked it up with a Camaro SS. Why they gave this to me, I have no idea. We got about a 40 minute drive down to Austin. I bet you we can make it in 20 in this thing. Hopefully they don't catch us, but it should be a good time. Here guys, we finally made it to San Marcos to the one and only Hayes County Barbecue, the probably second home of Mr. Goody Beats, Logan Delgado. We actually had to park the Camaro way out there in the grass right there because this place is so full. Now we showed up about 15 minutes late, so we probably missed out on all the free shit. Honestly, we left uh, Austin at like 4.15, but there was an accident on the 35, so basically we got stuck in traffic. Right now it's about 5.20, so it's been going for about 20 minutes now. But this is the overflow lot that I'm walking through right now, guys. This thing is gonna be huge. Now we could not come to this meetup without trying some of the barbecue here. So I have tried the brisket and the chicken and they are both absolutely amazing. I know I'm running my own series right now, but this brisket is so tender, guys. I can't even explain it. It's absolutely delicious. Over in San Marcos, you guys gotta come through down here to Hayes County Barbecue. Seriously, it is the best barbecue I have ever had. I mean, I can't say it enough. You guys will love the support, the encouragement. We're all in this together. Uh, I feel like we're all just a big family, and, and I love it. The positive vibes, everything that you guys give over the years, and like I said, I'm so proud and humbled to be a part of it and uh, to associate myself with you guys. I really do, really, really need to to me. And thank you, thank you so much for coming. Uh, this is
All right, everybody, well, we made it back to our apartment here, and a couple shout outs I gotta give from the uh, keto meetup, and then I'll talk about what we did right after that, because I did not bring my vlog camera in there. Anyway, um, from the keto meetup, I wanted to shoot more, but like, the audio was so loud in there, I couldn't really talk to anybody, but I did get something sorted out that I've been kind of excited for. Now, I don't remember if you guys, um, or some of you OG subscribers may know that I was one time affiliated with American Metabolics, the company who makes keto meal and all sorts of other stuff. I think they're a fantastic company. They make fantastic products. Um, one day, I don't know, probably six, eight months ago, my discount code just stopped working. I reapplied for the discount code, never heard back from them. So I just kind of assumed they wanted to cut ties with me. You know, it's not uncommon for companies just kind of ghost their affiliates if they don't want to work with them anymore. I was smaller at the time, so I kind of just assumed that's what happened. So I ran into a guy named Marcus today. He is one of the founders of American Metabolics. And I told him what was up and he looked at me like I was insane and he pretty much said he was gonna remedy the situation. And also since today was my 25th birthday, he went ahead and uh, hooked it up with a thing of keto meal and then uh, a shirt for myself and Olivia who is wearing hers right now. So I really gotta give them a shout out there. They kind of are gonna try to rectify that situation with my discount code and affiliation and hopefully get all that reinstated since they have no idea what went wrong. Apparently there was some glitch in their system at one point and it happened to a few people. Um, I just didn't reach out to the right people at the time when it happened, so that's on me, and they're gonna get that all fixed tonight, hopefully. So if that is the case, I'm gonna go ahead and put their discount code in the description. This is the apple pie flavor. I have not tried this yet, so I will probably make a video reviewing this. Now onto what we did on the way home, because I didn't think it was gonna be that cool, so I left the camera in the call. But we stopped by Whole Foods right on like 6th Avenue or 6th Street, whatever it is, in downtown Austin, which is apparently Whole Foods headquarters. And this place was the size of a Walmart, guys. It was insane. There was like a fish restaurant in there, a full bar, and just things that I had never come across before. So real quick, I'm gonna take you over to the fridge. I wanna show you guys what we got. And I found something in there that I have not found. You guys know I love to shoot reviews of keto ice creams. I found a new brand. You guys gotta check this out. I have never heard of these guys before, never seen them before, but they had it, so I got it. And we're gonna do the review right here in the apartment, and I'll probably post it in a week or two whenever I get the time to edit the video. But let me show you guys what we got just for snacks and meals here while we're not at KetoCon. Okay guys, so first things first, here on the counter still, we have some lilies and some of the 4505 uh, jalapeno cheddar pork rinds. These are my favorite pork rinds. If you haven't tried them, you need to. Then we got a little bit of coffee, and then we'll go check out the fridge and freezer. So in our fridge here, we have some Zevia, which is a really good stevia sweetened soda. There is a bit of a stevia taste, but it's pretty good. A couple things of eggs, gotta have some water. There is some breakfast sausage, some bacon, and some cheese, and then a case of beer, just because I plan on entertaining some of the keto Instagrammers and YouTubers that I know throughout this week. And in here, yes guys, here is the ice cream I am gonna be taste testing. Mammoth Creamery's Keto Ice Cream. It says it right on the label there. We have the peanut butter chocolate version and the vanilla bean. Now vanilla bean ice cream is one of my favorite ice creams and the only one I know that has one is Halo Top, which is not very keto. So I am excited to try that. Well guys, it is the end of night one of my KetoCon trip for 2019. Now today is Wednesday, June 26th, my 25th birthday. And I really wanted to go out tonight and go down to the 6th Street or 6th Avenue, whatever it's called, and um, go to some of the music venues and have a couple, you know, cocktails, whatever I could find that was low carb. But there's two problems. First of all, I am exhausted from today, um, which I'll explain in just a second. And second of all, none of my friends are here. So Ben, the Primal Bro, is coming in tomorrow. I'm gonna see if I can enlist him to go out either tomorrow night, Friday night, something like that. One of the nights, we will be on 6th Street having a good time, listening to music, having some drinks, whatever. Um, as far as everything else goes, guys, I got up at 4.30 this morning, caught an airplane at 7 a.m. out of Vegas, landed in Austin at 3 p.m., went to get a rental car, which actually was kind of cool. You know, 25th birthday, they gave me a Camaro SS. Anyway, um, shot down to San Marcos, went to Goody Beats' meetup until like eight o'clock, came back, went to Whole Foods, and now we're here. So it's just been a packed day and I need to get some sleep. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the video. If you guys wanna follow this series, you know, hit that subscribe button, helps me out a ton, but also I'm gonna post through the next couple days of KetoCon, and I'm gonna try to do a vlog every day, just kind of going through what I see. Maybe I'll get some vendors to, you know, take some interviews, whatever. Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell so you're notified when those come out. That would help me out a ton. If you like this video, leave it a like, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section. And with that, guys, I will see you in the next one.